Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, as we continue preparing our hearts for the gifts of the Holy Spirit, Jesus reminds us today that His life imparts to us the grace of the Holy Spirit. To prepare ourselves to receive these gifts from our Lord Jesus, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty and merciful God, that the Holy Spirit, coming near and dwelling graciously within us, may make of us a perfect temple of His glory. 
through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. From Melitus Paul had the presbyters of the church of Ephesus summoned. When they came to him, he addressed them. You know how I lived among you. The whole time from the day I first came to the province of Asia, I served the Lord with all humility and with the tears and trials that came to me because of the plots of the Jews. And I did not at all shrink from telling you what was for your vanity or from teaching you in public or in your homes. I earnestly bore witness for both Jews and Greeks to repentance before God and to faith in our Lord Jesus. But now, compelled by the Spirit, I am going to Jerusalem. What will happen to me there, I do not know, except that in one city after another, the Holy Spirit has been warning me that imprisonment and hardships await me. Yet, I consider life of no importance to me. If only I may finish my course and the ministry that I receive from the Lord Jesus to bear witness to the gospel of God's grace. But now I know none of you to whom I preach the kingdom during my troubles will ever see my face again. And so I solemnly declare to you this day that I am not responsible for the blood of any of you, for I did not shrink from proclaiming to you the entire plan of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. A bountiful rain you shower down, O God. Upon, upon your inheritance, you restore the land when it languished. Your flocks settled in it. In your goodness, O God, you provided it for the needy. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Blessed day by day by the Lord, who bears our burdens, God, who is our salvation. God is a saving God for us. The Lord, my Lord, controls the passageways of death. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. the Father, and He will give you another advocate to be with you always.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus raised his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Give glory to your Son so that your Son may glorify you just as you gave him authority over all people, so that your Son may give eternal life to all you gave him. Now this is eternal life, that they should know you, the only true God, and the one whom you sent, Jesus Christ. I glorified you on earth by accomplishing the work that you gave me to do. Now, Glorify me, Father, with you, with the glory that I had with you before the world began. I revealed your name to those whom you gave me out of the world. They belonged to you, and you gave them to me, and they have kept your word. Now they know that everything you gave me is from you, because the words you gave to me I have given to them. And they accepted them and truly understood that I came from you, and they have believed that you sent me. I pray for them. I do not pray for the world, but for the ones you have given me, because they are yours, and everything of mine is yours, and everything of yours is mine, and I have been glorified in them. And now I will no longer be in the world, but they are in the world while I am coming to you. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We are in the last days of the Easter season. This Sunday, we will be celebrating Pentecost Sunday, the end and culmination of the season of Easter. That is why you may be wondering why our readings this coming days are all about saying goodbye or the last days. First, in our first reading, we will hear about St. Paul saying goodbye, saying farewell to his disciples. And even also in our gospel reading, we will see here the last moments of Jesus with his disciples before he suffered on the cross and later on ascended to heaven. We are on the last days of Easter and we have been hearing about farewell, goodbyes. Bakit kaya ganito ang ating mga pagbasa? Sapagkat papatapos na ang panahon ng, kwares, ng muling pagkabuhay ng Panginoon. Pero kung titingnan nating mabuti, ang kanilang pagpapaalam ay hindi naman talaga paglisan. Kundi ang kanilang pagpapaalam ay isang pagbibilin. Mayroon silang ibinibigay. Mayroon silang iniiwan sa atin. And for Jesus, for God, that is leaving. Leaving is not just leaving everyone alone, but for Jesus, leaving is imparting something. In our Gospel reading today, we hear Jesus saying his farewell to his disciples. But Jesus said, I am not just leaving, 
I am imparting to you something. He said to the father, Father, the hour has come that your son will be glorified, will be leaving this world. But he said, See that I have given something to my people, to my disciples. What you have told me, I have told also them. What you have given me, I have also given to them. What I have, I have also given to them. What a wonderful life Jesus has lived on this earth. A life that is fruitful. A life that has imparted something to people. Nung ang Panginoong Heso Kristo ay nagpapaalam sa kanyang mga alagad at parang nagsasabi ng kanyang mga huling bilin sa kanyang mga disipulo, pinapaalala niya sa kanila na hindi lamang siya aalis at iiwan sila, kundi ang paglisan ng Panginoong Heso Kristo ay isang pagbibilin sa kanila, pagbibigay sa kanila ng biyaya ng Espiritu Santo ng biyaya na nanggagaling sa Ama. And that is also the message of our first reading today when St. Paul in Ephesus was saying goodbye to the presbyters and the community of the early church in Ephesus. He said to them that he was leaving already to Jerusalem and he said, you may not anymore see my face again because people were trying to kill him in Jerusalem. But he said, even if we will not anymore see each other, I have given to you God's word. And that already pleased St. Paul. Sabi ni San Pablo, hindi man tayo magkikita na muli. At ito ay isang pagpapaalam na, sabi niya, siya ay patuloy na nagsasaya sapagkat mayroon siyang iniwan sa simbahan sa Efeso sa pamayanan doon. Bagaman mayroong pagpapaalam, bagaman mayroong paglisan, subalit mayroon pa ring iniwan si San Pablo. At yan ay ang salita ng Diyos na kanyang ipinahayag sa simbahan doon. My dear brothers and sisters, living is imparting something. How have we lived our life in this earth? Does our life impart something to people? Ang ating buhay ba ay mayroong naibibigay sa kapwa? That is a beautiful life. We have seen in the life of Jesus, in the life of St. Paul and the other disciples, that when time comes that they are to leave this world, when they are to leave their disciples and their brothers and sisters, they are not just leaving they are giving, they are imparting something. A life that gives, a life that imparts, that is the life of a Christian. That is the life of our Lord. In our celebration of this Eucharist, let us thank the Lord Jesus for the life that He has given us for the Holy Spirit that He imparted to us. And let us also pray that our life might be like the life lived by Jesus in this world, a life that gives, a life that imparts. Amen.
Christ our Lord predicted His saving death and resurrection. Through Him, the suffering servant, let us now bring our petitions to the Father of all mercies. For every petition, let us say, Father, may your glory shine on us. Father, may your glory shine on us. That the leaders of the church may show us a clear vision of patient endurance in the turmoil of our time. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father may, may your, your glory, glory shine, shine on, on us. us that the nations may know the only true God and Jesus Christ, whom He has sent. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father may, may your, your glory shine on us, that we may work and pray for the unity of all who bear the name of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father may, may your glory shine on us, that the sick may unite their sufferings with those of Jesus on the cross. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father may, may your glory shine on us, that those who have gone before us in this life may receive the eternal reward promised to them. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father may, may your, your glory shine on us. Father, you glorified your Son, and in Him we will be glorified. Welcome our prayers because we belong to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings, that through these acts of devotedness, we may pass over to the glory of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after His resurrection, He plainly appeared to all His disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight that He might make us sharers in His divinity. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, Every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts 
sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Through our Lord Jesus Christ and in the power of the Holy Spirit, we now call on God as our Father. 
Our, Our Father, Father who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am, I am not, not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of Him may bring us growth in charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We will now pray the fifth day of our Novena to the Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful. And kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created. And you shall renew the face of the earth. Understanding as a gift of the Holy Spirit perfects our faith by enabling us to penetrate the inner meaning of revealed truths in a way that transcends human reason. Our natural way of knowing is elevated by a graced intuition and insight into the things of God. By faith we know them, but by the gift of understanding we learn to appreciate and relish them. 
this appreciation radiates outward to others because our faith is no longer just a matter of information from a book, but a way of living rooted in intimacy with the mysteries of Christ. May the Holy Spirit attune our hearts and minds to a deeper spiritual understanding of these mysteries so that as missionary disciples of a new Pentecost in our time, we may draw others to Christ and to His Church. Let us all together pray. Father, Father send, send the, the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit into, into our, our minds and, and hearts, hearts, giving us a deeper understanding of the, of the mysteries, mysteries of salvation. salvation. May, May He teach and instruct us, the people you have made your own, so that we may never waver in our faith, but by the gift of understanding may be ready to give an answer to all who ask the reason for the hope that is within us. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Mary, seat of understanding. Pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah, I'm a man of